I otherwise it's been a it's been a great week. I got a new toy. Ooh, uh, yes, very shiny. Uh, I took a picture of it somewhere. Here, it's the um, dev kit, the the project uh, Volterra that Microsoft released. So a piece of hardware. Uh, it's a nice ARM based ARM sixty four based uh, machine. Uh, Thirty two gigs of memory, half terabyte of hard drive. Uh, five ninety nine when you order it from Microsoft directly, um, but it's a pretty snappy machine. Uh, so I actually got it running here, um, and it was very quick to install. Of course, it came pre-installed with with ARM for Windows because the ARM editions are not downloaded downloadable from, uh, for example, the My Visual Studio uh, subscriptions. They are available on Volume License site. Uh, if you have access to that, you can download actually. Uh, Windows 10, Windows 11 Enterprise for ARM on that ISO files. Uh, otherwise, if you don't mind being a little bit creative, uh, there are ways to get the ARM 64 ESD files and using community tools to convert them into an ISO. Uh, Mike and Lee House blogged about that uh, a little while ago. But anyhow, uh, uh, here's my ARM uh, machine uh, running Hyper-V with another ARM VM that I downloaded from the Insider Preview program. Uh, a little bit sad about that because the moment I fired it up, they said it was already expired and I downloaded it today. So it's like, oh, come on, you. Anyhow, um, if I open up a little PowerShell prompt, uh, the, the coolest thing I, I thought was um, the, the model name for this particular uh, uh, machine. Uh, I can type, good Lord. I did the mistake of pressing tab. <laughs> Here we go. Computer system, select model. And sure enough, the, 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 this is the model name of the hardware, <laughs> Windows Dev Kit 2023. So, but uh, if I open up Task Manager, go to performance, this is the, the CPU, Snapdragon on it. Uh, quite performant in general so far. I've been amazed how snappy this machine is so we're going to do some development testing on this one uh see if i can figure out how to deploy things to it as well of course mm -hmm. as you do um but uh yeah that's for a later story now the interesting part is i decided to enroll it into intune just because i could and start to deploy applications to it uh, because arm 64 can run windows applications uh, the challenge is when targeting those, and it was actually Jose on, on Twitter that helped me figure that one out. So I just wanted to share that. Well, first of all, this was the heads up that I got from uh, Jose there, then saying, make sure you are aware about the ARM gotchas when deploying stuff from Intune. Like, all right, well, what are those? Well, sure enough, it, it turns out that um, there is no ARM filter when you target apps through Intune. There is 32-bit, there is 64-bit. That's pretty much it. And the IME agent in Intune is indeed a 32-bit app. So long story short, what you have to do to get this working somewhat was basically figure out some sort of strategy uh, around this, but bottom line, you may have to offer them as a 32-bit on Intune, even though it is an ARM64 type deployment. Uh, what I found interesting reading on further in this post, and I haven't been able to, to dive into that anymore, I just saw this yesterday, but it seemed that Microsoft already, whoops, added in uh, uh, more architectures into the platform. So hopefully, hopefully in a future service release, we will see better support in, in Tune for, for ARM. But all in all, if, if I go to my uh, tenant here again, find my devices, uh, sure enough, uh, my dev machine here uh, shows up nicely. Uh, device model, and yeah, managed by Intune. So that was my 
my playtime last night playing around with this for a bit uh, like that. That's pretty cool. It is.